Colin, you hear it all the time. Coaches say the coach speak about when you pass the ball good, it opens up the run game. Obviously, you have a good perspective of that. Mm -hmm. how, how different is that this year now that you guys have been consistent passing the ball? How much has that really opened up things for you? Oh, it opened up. It take the pressure off me, also the O line. Make the job way easier on the receiver, open up the field, catching the ball. So, yeah, it opened up the offense more. You had a huge game against uh, Kansas State last year. What worked so well in that game? What allowed you to be so effective? Uh, basically, the work in my O line, you know, they get out of grunt work. Uh, they put in the work in the film room. I just follow my leads, lead blocking, and just get the job done. What have you seen from their defense on film so far this week? Uh, same, you know, I ain't gonna say the same defense. They still got the same style, but they play. They they run to the ball. They passing it. They got a great defense. They got a great player, so it'll be a challenge. Their their team had shut their opponent out last week. So you know, they come in with some confidence and. It's going to be a real test for you guys. Do you think this is – you kind of ramped up to this point where you guys are ready for a test like this? Yeah, at this point, everybody feeling real confident, you know. Offense leading leading in, we all got that swagger, as I say. So we all feeling confident whoever we play. We're treating like an uh, SEC team. Okay, if, if you don't, you're going to end up losing the game. Lee was one of the many freshmen that contributed the other, the other day. Uh, what all of y'all said to him this week after getting that first touchdown? Uh, basically, we proud of him. You know, I remember my first touchdown, so I know it was a sign for him. It was a great experience, and hopefully he can get a lot moving forward. How excited were you on the sideline when you saw him get in the end zone there? Uh, basically, when I, when I had tapped my head to uh, go to the sideline, get a breathe, I told him just scored. Said this your time right here to uh, get a chance to score a touchdown and don't let up. <clears throat> Nick also has a couple touchdowns. What's it like seeing all you guys, you know, being pretty productive, getting in the end zone? Oh, real confident. You know, whoever entered the game, we confident know either one of us punch the ball in or give us first down or the supposed to play. So the room is very confident right now. You've been showing this knack for hurdling over defenders these past <laughs> couple of games. Did the coaches ever say anything to you about that? No, nah, they just tell me just keep balling, just keep doing what I'm doing, uh, keep being a team leader and keep – you know, uh, keep my foot on the gas. How far away from a defender are you when you realize I can get over this guy? Uh, I can't. It's really a timing point. You know, any any used to hurting nobody is really tough. I to, gotta have the confidence to do it. What was it like seeing the reaction on social media and, and probably on ESPN and everything too? Of everyone talking about that hurdle. Uh, you know, uh, it's great attention. You know, but I gotta look forward to Mr. Point. How do you handle that attention? I mean, there's all these people on social media that are constantly tweeting at you about stuff. How, you know, is that a distraction for you? Are you able to handle that? How do you feel about all that? Uh, no, nah, I want to say it's a distraction. It's at least keep me motivated just to perform more and do better. You know, <coughs> uh, thing like this excited me. My mom was excited, so I'm doing good so far.